So tell me about this protest today. Why are you here? Well, f first, we're honoring and remembering the people, the 47 people who died. It was a tragic derailment of a, a train carrying back in crude oil, the same oil that goes through the town we're in, Ridgefield Park, Teaneck, and the other 11 towns in Bergen County, onto uh, Hudson County, and to the refineries. Uh, train carrying back in crude derailed and exploded like a bomb, and 47 people were killed instantly. 25 children were left orphaned by it. So that's, we're going to be reading the names of those people who were killed. And then we don't want oil trains coming through here. We don't want fossil fuels. So we're trying very hard to keep, you know, work with others around the country and the world to keep fossil fuels in the ground. Um, now tell me about the, the gas plants. Okay, so now there are proposals for two ga fracked gas power plants. One that would be built in North Bergen, which would provide electricity for New York City. They didn't say they wanted it. We have that one, and we have another one New Jersey Transit has proposed for Kearney. And so because the Meadowlands, which is right across from where we're standing, is kind of like a bowl, the exhaust, the emissions from these power plants would go right into the lungs of people in the surrounding towns. It's dangerous. There are emissions like ozone, ground level ozone. Anybody with asthma or any kind of lung condition will be at even greater risk. It's dangerous stuff. It's toxic stuff. So we have to stop. There are other emissions that would come from the, the two plants. We we can't have it. Besides, it's a wetland. It's an area that should be preserved for nature. Now, yeah. I think the DEP put the, the frack plant, the uh, gas plant for um, North Bergen back to square one. Yeah, we're waiting for them to oh, to reapply, uh, to resubmit their air quality permit. But they have said in writing that they're planning to do that. So we will continue our fight until we stop not just those two plants, but there are 12 plants and uh, power plants, uh, compressor stations, pipelines around the state we're trying to stop. So we're working with a lot of, you'll see people here at this rally from all different struggles around the state, trying to get the government the governor to issue a moratorium. I see it as a life and death issue. I really do, and I, I'm not exaggerating. Anybody who ha who's got someone in their family or who has asthma, they know how dangerous this area is already. We've had ozone alerts already this summer, but with t one or two new power plants in the area, there will be real deaths. There'll be deaths. This is scary stuff. It's dangerous, and we should be on the path to, you know, using renewable energy.